Hi guys, it's Renu here and welcome back to another video. So, if you're watching this, you're probably on my YouTube or you're on my Instagram because surprise, I'm posting this on Instagram. Hooray! Woo! But it's gonna be with my voiceover. Yes, because I feel like talking and chatting with you guys. And also, if you don't like my voice, I don't think this is the right video for you. So, bye bye. Woo! But again, to anyone who don't know me yet, hello, I am Rinu, but you can call me Grace. I am a freelance artist based in Malaysia. And it's lovely to meet you. Come on, shake my hand. Alright, nice to meet you. So, um, if you're for this one, I'm drawing a cute cat study. Again. <laughs> but this time, but this time, a bit of a twist. I add some magical elements. Floating goldfish. Woo! And it's gonna look super cute and magical And it turned out great So stay tuned, keep watching Listen to me ranting and rambling about sad stuff in my life While, you know, while you're drawing your stuff So, and by the way, listen If you guys like this video You know what I'm gonna say Like, let me know what you think Or you follow on my Instagram Or you subscribe on my YouTube Whatever goes, flows with your boat Let me know what you think So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. How are y'all doing today? Um, currently it's 11 p.m. and around weekdays, I don't know which what day is it. <laughs> Pandemics, honestly, but I'm feeling a little full. I just ate some Chinese dim sum just now, and I'm feeling good. Currently, for this piece and for this video, I'm, I don't have a subject to talk about just because I am pretty tired today. I'm feeling a little burnt out in a way where I've been taking care so much about my online engagement, talking to people, posting constantly, being active 24-7. It's really fun for me as I do enjoy making new friends and making new connections. But I do get tired from that sometimes. So, you know, like right now, it's like one of the tired phases where I just don't want to talk. But I do want to post this video in time. So here I am sharing you my tired side, about to die session. Come, come be tired with me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, you can just draw, listen to my tired voice while I'm talking to you. <laughs> Anyway, so let's talk about the process of my drawing because that's always for me the fun part. So I draw this little kitty drawing and as I say from the beginning, I want to make it super magical and I don't want it to be exactly like the reference because I've done a lot of art studies, photo studies to be exact, trying to learn how the light flows, the light hits in different direction and the shadows, etc. And what type of colors I see in, in like environment like this however i done that a lot that i realized i really want to branch out and make it more of a mind painting instead something that i could call as my instead of saying that oh this is an art this is a photo study of this reference on pinterest i mean this is yeah of course i do show the reference on along with my drawing but it feels more like my drawing in a way where it's unique and different in a way that it feels more how to say personalize so yeah i really i try my best and it really turned out the way i wanted to so i'm quite happy and relieved i'm super relieved because every time when i start drawings like these i even though it's very relaxing i do enjoy this kind of paintings but it's always the fact that in my head it keeps telling me that it won't go well halfway you probably want to die already and then you just want to turn off your laptop and just go to sleep and just forget everything and tomorrow's commission day you have to do your commissions for your client so that all these things come into my, my mind sometimes and it's really scary so <laughs> i definitely have some thoughts of like shit i'm not gonna make it because it's such a complicated piece not a complicated piece but like a little more things around it like there's plants and such so it's yeah that's what i wanted to ramble about <laughs> and 
if you guys are drawing with me that's sweet tell me what you're drawing let me down in the comments below that what are you drawing right now how is it so far and do you think it will turn out all right because i at first i did not think this would turn out all right but thank god i feel like one of the big tips i could give you guys to make yourself feel at least at ease when you draw something is definitely putting all the colors together first at the as the base so you kind of understand how the vibe feels like because before i add the details i immediately put all the peaches the purples and the pinks just to keep in mind that i want this kind of color palette and it's supposed to look like this because i don't want it to look like the photo where it's super just green and brown you know so it did it did make me feel a little better when i saw it and i posted it online my work in progress and my my community i mean like people on facebook were so sweet everyone was like wow it looks great oh my god and i was like oh thank god <laughs> thank god it looks great Ooh, ooh, dodge a bullet there you know like ah uh, it was so nerve-wracking because i was like because i don't usually post my work in progress some unless they look really clean and neat but i felt the need to post it there just to show you know my community that like hey i it, the 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 progress is rough like it's not like as clean as you thought it would be like the colors are everywhere like as you can see the progress right now like holy heck look at those colors they're everywhere <laughs> so it was interesting everyone was pretty positive and supportive so it, that means so much to me guys so thank you and i don't know why recently i've been drawing a lot of cats and i don't know why <laughs> because cats are so cute like Cats are such a cute subject and they're so forgiving. For me, cats are such such moldable creatures. They're, like, they're such cute, circular, like, round creatures that it's so hard to make them look ugly, you know? Like even if you draw a circle there with two ears, two triangle ears, it won't look ugly, honestly. I guess it just looks round and like, you know, fat. But that's about it. <laughs> so I think cats are way more forgiving compared to characters. Characters are so so unforgiving can i just say characters are so unforgiving when you draw characters the the proportions the eyes the nose the lip the cheekbones the jawline the ears the eyebrows the nose bridge everything everything is so unforgiving like if you just draw a little bit on the wrong like on the wrong side and it's just bam it looks like a looks a deformed looking fetus you know <laughs> so i really like it's a nice break just to stop drawing humans for a bit and it's been a while since i really like stopped drawing characters for a while and draw animals and plants because during my art schools i don't really do that i just focus on characters characters character design character character i mean time to time a bit of environment a bit of the mechanics stuff by the way i'm really bad at sci-fi so <laughs> that that wasn't a fun time in my art college <laughs> but yeah i really enjoyed this a lot so thanks for hearing me rambling about so <laughs> i really try my best to make myself feel more comfortable talking on youtube and i sometimes i just don't want to talk about serious topics like you do know like there's some videos i do post on here like you know how to how to find your art style or how to get commissions how to do this and that it's very fun for me to share this kind of advices but it's so so tiring just trying to make sure i don't sound like a broken record repeating the same thing i always try to make myself okay straightforward clear and done like that's it but it's very tiring because i have to fully focus on it but now here i am just rambling away while you watch me paint this cat with the plants by the way i'm gonna add goldfish later Ooh, i'm so excited the goldfish i wish the only thing i don't like about the goldfish like that you will see is that i literally copy and paste all of them <laughs> i literally just copy and paste all of them and they look all the same and i don't like it because i want them to all have different personalities you know like look mm, looks more lively in a way that you know all the fishes are just like swimming in different directions some are happy some are angry but i was getting lazy at the end and i was like you know what shit copy and paste my best friend honey <laughs> so i just copy and paste and there you go but don't tell anyone but i, I don't like it i don't like the fishes 
but they're fine, you know, they're cute and brown, but that's fine, you know. But at least the cat looks cute. The cat has personality, so I'm quite happy. So, anyways, how you guys are all doing? I am tired, but I'm rambling. Anyway, I probably will stop here for a while so you guys can enjoy a quiet time lapse of the beautiful soundtrack. By the way, the soundtracks are all from Animal Crossings, but they're like instrumental, so it's pretty fun and cute. So, okay, I'll keep quiet for now. I hope you guys have fun watching. Did you guys enjoy the peaceful session? Well, too bad because here I am with my voice again. Hello. Hi. Hi there. Ni hao. Hello. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna do some Q&A as always. By the way, to anyone who's watching, uh, if you're on Instagram and on my YouTube and you're probably thinking, wow, where can I ask questions? Hmm, good question to nobody who's asking. You can ask me on my Facebook because guess what Facebook is where I do share my life uh, my what I eat cats my cats and my drawing progress and I get to actually talk to you guys so if you want to ask me questions I do post Q&A's on there and my Facebook name is called Renew Arts and I probably put a link down below if I didn't ask me in the comment section remind me please but yeah I'm gonna answer the Q&A, so let's go. For this Q&A, it's not a long one because I am tired, but I like to ra I like to ramble. So, the first question is, "What got you into arts?" by Kunre Aoi. Sorry if I butcher your name. I'm sorry, girl or boy. Yeah, doesn't matter who you are. You're amazing. Anyway, what got you into arts? I feel like what got me into art is a pretty interesting uh, story. Uh, I probably will tell more in the future, but it's definitely when I was in high school, one of my friends was a really good artist back then, okay? When I saw her, she's an amazing artist, and I was like, damn, I want to be like her, girl. And that's how it began. <laughs> that's how it began. I saw someone who was really good at drawing. I was like, fuck, I want to be like her. So... She became my quote-unquote rival, but in the end of the day, she's it's it's really a good memory. I was like, thank you so much to her for like really pushing me to actually draw for real. So yeah, that's how I got into art. <laughs> and the second question is by Nikoro Kun. Hi. And the question is, how do you choose your brushes for your stylized sceneries and studies? Ooh, a good question. Uh, I probably will talk more in depth about it in the future. You be sure to ask me in the future so I can give you an in-depth answer. Uh, I choose depending on what kind of style I'm going for. Uh, not style, I would say a vibe. For example, for this kind of scenery pieces, I want them to have the really uh, soft paper, storybook kind of texture feeling. Like it looks like a memory of some sort, but yet you can see it in like pages of like, you know, uh, books and such. So, which is why I choose a very um, grainy, very grainy, small texture, small textures instead. 
because there's really like there's really a lot of types of texture brushes and there's the exaggerated big ones where you can put on your portraits ones I don't really use those for this one because it will look really exaggerated and looks out of place so yeah I think my advice for you is definitely ask yourself what kind of paintings what kind of vibe you're going for and go through the brushes that you have or you go search online where there's any free texture brushes and you can collect them because I collect my texture brushes online whether that is free or not I just collect or for my friends I just take from them etc etc so yeah the next question is by Haley, and Haley asked me if I could uh, she say if I could give some critique regarding her commission work and by the way girl I saw your drawing and it's gorgeous why you ask me <laughs> why you ask me for advice oh my god it's so beautiful I I probably won't give critiques in this video but I'll DM you the critique instead because I feel like it probably needs a long one minute critique instead of just giving you that five seconds of Q&A moment <laughs> I will let you know but Oh my god, girl, it's gorgeous, by the way. So, you probably don't need a critique. <laughs> You're just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'll help you, okay. The next question is by Fabi Mendoza. Sorry if I put your name again. I'm so sorry. Which is, how do you manage your time? I've noticed that you're active everywhere. I barely can do one or two art-related things in a good day. So, I'm curious. Alright. I think what I do is... It's probably becoming a habit, but I think my... How I, how I do it is probably I'm, I write down on my to-do list before I sleep like okay when I wake up I need to do this and that this and that so I wrote everything down in advance and then once I wake up I just go through them one by one I wake up in the morning first thing I wake up in the morning I go through all my social media reply back to everyone and every morning I'll post something that people can start talking about so example if I feel like communicating with everyone I'll just ask what's your favourite food or like what's up everyone and they will answer me while I continue my day on the afternoon I will just do my commissions around the afternoon handling my stuff run errands and then at night I'll come back reply to them all and such I would say definitely have a to-do list that would be my advice for you because I always have them around me which is why I'm able to keep track with everything and catch up with everything which is why I'm making this YouTube video right now because you know what it's in my to-do list for the past five days ha huh. Grace, you should catch up with your schedule. <laughs> okay. Sorry, but yeah, that's my advice. And the last question for this Q&A would be by Albedo Chan Overlord. Wow. Nice name. <laughs> for how old are you and what's your motivation to do art? Um, I'm 21. But please, any creeps, please don't come after me. I'm not interested. I'll instantly block you, okay? Please don't, okay? <laughs> I'm 21. And what's your motivation? My motivation is definitely to improve. I do like to learn. I would say my motivation is definitely learning from other people and doing, creating things on my own. Because I like to do things that like, let's say crafts. I like to craft things out that is existing in front of me. Or like, I like to draw things and then once it's finished, I like to see it in front of me. And it makes me feel satisfied. Any drawing, like this drawing for example, once I finished it, I feel so satisfied. Like, hey, I finished this drawing, I'm so proud. Even though if it has flaws, I'm happy, you know? And I get to learn a lot of new techniques, that's what excites me, honestly. And until now, honestly, I don't give a shit about other artists. If other artists are better than me, I don't really care because that's their thing. For me, it's like, as long as I get to try new techniques and get to explore anything on my own painting, it makes me happy already. Like, this is something that I enjoy a lot so I hope that answers your question even though it's a pretty lengthy one so I think to keep it simple my motivation is definitely learning and trying something new and definitely have the final piece in front of me that's what motivates me to keep going because personally I feel like this is why I don't think I can work in a studio sometimes because sometimes I'm not able to sh to to like learn anything that I wanted to do even though I had to learn, I had to learn super specific with that certain style that they are going for so, yeah, that's just me ranting. Anyways, I hope that answers all the Q&As. And by the way, guys, this is just me ranting. Don't take any of this thing personally. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. And I hope you guys enjoy the speed paint so far. Holy heck, I did a lot. And guys, look at the fishes. They're all copy and pasted. 
<laughs> but they're so cute. And they're like coffee and pasted. They look so dead. <laughs> if if I put some like strings below them, they look like balloons, like fish balloons. Dead fish balloons, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and my outro is coming soon. Thank you guys so much for still sticking by and watch this whole video process and I hope you guys like it as much as I do. I really love this painting. It's probably one of the best ones I did so far. So yeah, and let me know what you guys think. If the cat is really cute or if the fish is really round and, round and like bubbly. But let me know. Bye!